Today, I'm in a taxi, and there are some cool boys cruising behind me. How sick is this? This is why I love GTA Online, but welcome back, everybody. Whoa, what's he doing? Whoa! Where's he going? Epic cards, boys. Anyway, welcome back to GTA Online, and today, we are once again customizing a brand new car. Of course, I had to do it. Let's go. Can it just be known? They cruised with me the whole journey. I completely forgot this taxi feature was a thing, but it's so sick to see. Looks like the pinkness is spreading. Everybody liked the pink. Anyway, this garage is looking pretty darn full now, as you can see. Man, oh man, it is properly packed in here. We've got one more slot, I think. Two more slots. Two more slots left in the garage which uh, we're going to have to shuffle some of these to the proper garage. Anyway, let's go for a quick little drive in this. This is clearly a sunny truck, but it looks more so like a converted sunny truck. For those of you that don't know, you can convert the front end of a sunny truck to basically look like a Hakasuka. Alrighty then, soup at the ready. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Let's go for a little bit of a drive and see how this thing does perform. Now, I've heard some pretty good things about this skidability of a vehicle I like this. I have not actually tested it at all. This is something that I was always going to build. It just, it's so, I, I want to build one. I so want to build one. Look at the skids it's performing all ready. I'm actually going to go and play and lower this thing to the ground. We can lower the stance straight away, which already looks so sick. And we're going to give it a go as this. Now, I think it's going to slide pretty much perfectly straight away. What's up, buddy? What's up with that orange soup? He's got the modernized soup at the... Let's just say Paul Walker. I was going to stop myself, but it is. He is the Paul Walker. We definitely need a lot more power to get this... Oh! We okay. We okay. Yeah, we definitely need more power. Go away, Simeon. I ain't got time for you. This is the update. What? What? And one final... Whoa. He just threw a sticky bomb at me. What are you doing? Try and blow it up as well. Ha I, mate banned. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but for some reason, it won't let me modify any of my cars. Um, so I think I'm just going to have to go elsewhere. It ain't, it ain't working. What? Nothing. What's it do? Good old trusty car, mate. Of course, that's going to work. I'm level 24 now. Pretty sick. And I don't remember how I even said it, but I'm still super, like, happy that th this update is literally the biggest they've ever had. Higher than the last heist, which is just mental. Mental to think about. Anyway, let's get on with it. We're going to make this thing proper spicy. I actually have the least amount of money I think I've ever had on any of these builds. But we're going to make this thing look super good. We're going to make it look the best. There's no question about it. Oh, yes. That looks fantastic. Rear bumper. And we're going to add a little bit of a drift boy. We're going to add a little bit of a hard on the back. We're going to make it nice, very, very pretty. They're beautiful. Engine block. Once again, we can change it. And this, you, no doubt. This ain't no 2J. This is an RB. Don't even try and tell me. I, I ain't listening to you. You lying. We're going to keep it that color because it looks fantastic. I love the red. And we can't really see it properly because the hood opens in a straight. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got. All right. Fair enough. I'm going to keep it the stock cam cover as well. And then the brace, we've already seen all of these a million times before. I'm actually going to go for this one, actually. The billet one looks pretty good. Add the engine performance in there. And we got the intercooler, which we can change behind the bumper, which looks awesome. Oh, man, that looks menacing. I kind of like that intercooler with the twin fans. Do you know how tempted it is to buy one of these and convert? It's so tempting. But let's finish the stage here first. I got many things to build and many things to buy before. I Oh my god, look at the size of those. And oh, side exit. As if anyone would choose anything else. And if you do, you're wrong. I'm sorry, you're wrong. So this adds a little bit to the arches. They're just called primary arches, but they genuinely add a little bit of meat to them. I kind of like the carbon ones because they're so minimalistic. It looks really good. But so far, we're going to go for primary. It only costs $900. We can go back on that. Now, the grill, can we remove the middle? Oh, we can't. That's an interesting move indeed. I think I'm going to go for the carbon grill. It just looks a little bit spicier. Maybe the black would look good too. Taped up lights has to be done. If the option's there, it's got to be done. We've got hood catches, which are actually in the back. That makes sense. That actually looks a little bit nicer with the hood catches being at the back, I personally think. See-through hood looks absolutely useless. 
It's just not, it's not see-through enough. Holy crap, well, look at that. Oh, that looks sick. The pointed hood. I didn't even know that was ever a styling thing, but it looks really, really good for some reason. Oh, it also looks like I've smashed my car in. Just for the sake of showing you, the interiors are all pretty much similar, but I'm just going to go for the pod mounted gauge. The dash, you can basically have it like this. You can slightly strip it. You can make it full race car, just like all the other interiors. The seats are all going to be the exact same, so there's no point really showing you those. Steering wheel on this... I, I kind of like the stock one and the roll cage. We've got the street cage, which is a uh, half cage. So uh, that's what we're doing. Of course, we can change the headlights to a color, which looks so good. I'm going to wait. We need to decide on the color of the car first. And because it is white, it's the perfect base for livery looking. Let's see what we got. The shopping list, again, nice, minimal. That is pretty nice. Very, very simplistic. Very cool. And of course, the race liveries. People are going to buy me like, oh, I... What are you talking about race liveries like they're bad again? I, I don't know anyone that particularly wants to use race liveries, but hey, ho, there we go. I think I've decided on either the stripe, the shopping list, or the pull-out. I kind of like that's pretty. We actually have a whole bunch of wing mirror options here, which again, they're actually wing mirrors for the first time. They're actual wing mirrors. I, not the first time, but you know what I'm saying. Like, normally they ain't actually wing mirrors. It's a funny funny you think that we just kept actually door mirrors you didn't think about that did you a big brain moment okay let's go for these the flat alternatives we've got plate customization which i'm going to do there this boy yeah roof scoops we got the non or race we've got the custom scoop and also the tuna scoop i'm actually going to go for the race roof scoop there splitter customization oh perfect that's what it needed it was definitely missing a splitter and look how aggressive this looks it looks so damn aggressive I think I'm going to go for the big carbon boy. Spoiler options. Very cool. I think they're mostly going to be just tacked on like this. Oh, no, we got proper wings on the back. It's got a platform to put the wing on. That's very cool. This would be the most practical car ever and also one of the coolest. Would it not? I think so. I think for this one, though, lads, we're going to keep it nice and simple. And we're going to do a small lip. Can you believe it? Me doing a small damn lip. I think it's the most uh, sun strips I've ever seen. We've got a plastic one, and that's what we're going to go for. Again, suspension, we can slam this boy to the ground. There's the different levels, transmission, all the way. I basically want to make this... Oh, I want to make this thing, like, road-ready, looking like it's a sleeper boy. That is pretty sick. Make it almost like a pickup with a cab on the back. We go for that outer cage there, turbo upgrade, and finally wheels which do i actually have any new wheels unlocked i don't think so we're close though i think let's see so that was level 37 we're quite far off unlocking some of these wheels i need to get going i need the we these last two wheels are incredible level 95 though going through the paints and honestly if anyone goes for a purple on this which i think i might do uh, after the video because I want to make it like a nice bright color to start with that's usually how I start with them And then over time I'll adjust the colors of them the yellows bright colors on this car suits it really well So I think this dew yellow actually looks pretty sweet and the secondary color does indeed change the roof scoop and the cage What if it's a whole dew yellow big boy combo, you know, is that too much dew yellow or is that enough dew yellow? I think that's good the beautifulness is complete and it looks so good. I love it it's my baby. Very, very cool. Oh, look at this little JD and me going on up in here. Very cool, very nice. Oh, JD. Ah, oh, you ruined it. You absolutely ruined it. How dare you? They're all looking at that, though. They're all looking in the boot. Oh, look at that speaker system. Oh, what you baby? Is that a play? Oh, that's a player's car. That makes sense. It's very spicy. Look at this. Let's go for a drive. I put the low grip tires on. I want to see how this is going to slide. Let's get it. It is unfortunately nighttime now, but... This, again, is one of those drift cars, and straight away, you can already see it's just holding the back end out. I think I may have been mistaken. I think this may be the best drift car there is. Holy Jesus. Oh, my God. Guys, there's two drift cars, and one of them is a the Nissan pickup. Holy crap, drifted down the whole road. I am literally in shock. I cannot believe that. That is incredible. That is the best drift handling I think that they've ever done. It only took a week for me to get to this. 
I am so glad you guys recommended that I build this. I just ruined it. She's not happy. Oh, wait. She changed her mind. <laughs> you want to get eat, maybe? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No room for you in the sunny truck. Gotta do some skirt skirt. Look at the spin. Wait, it spins so damn much. You know what I want to do. I want to see what happens when we put on the lower suspension. I did raise it up. Lower this thing to the ground. I, I think it's going to spin too much. Let's find out. So straight away, we are downhill. So it's spinning a little bit less, actually. It will not grip up in the slightest. But to be honest with you, again, I think I prefer it with the suspension up. But if you want some more low speed drifts, I think doing both works really well. I am so impressed by this. It like it, It's not bogging down like the other cars would. And then stop the spinning, just keep going straight. Of course, if you start to turn, you will have some issues. Let's see how hot I can go into this. Ah, oh, right, I'm taking that off. <laughs> I'm really keen for them to do some kind of like drift update. Now that they know the tuners update did so, so well, it was better than any Gun Island DLC expansion debuff that they ever will do. That's probably a lie. I think an island, a tuner island. Hey, yeah, tuner island. You hear it first. Tuna, not fish. I'm talking about tuna cards, baby. We need to do a muscle car update, everything. You need to, you need to keep doing this. But basically just keep doing it keep giving us a proper drift update i think that would be incredible now that they've tested the waters with this i think they could tremendously pull off a fantastic little update dedicated to drifting that just kind of expands on this expansion of course they've already started work surely on the next expansion or they may be focusing on the, the you know the big update coming out for the next gen only consoles but I, I want to see it. I really do want to see it. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is a cooler drift car or the AE86? You probably a, a lot of people still don't understand what I'm saying when I say that. AE86. AE86. It's just, it becomes a weird noise. A, a, AE86. You know what I'm saying. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. So much fun to make. It looks like I've got a slightly lifted hood there, but like it's just because I, cr I crashed it. <laughs> Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, peace.